So I've been full-time reselling for about two years now. It started as just a side gig and I've been learning as I go, but that hasn't stopped me from finding some really incredible finds over the last couple of years. So I'm about to take you back to some of my best pickups over the past two years on YouTube and show you what they really sold for. So in no particular order, this first one sold for $699 and you won't believe what I paid for it. How much on this, ma'am? Um, Shelly, how much on this? I don't even know what it is. Here's hearing aids. Oh, 20. 20. How crazy is that to pay 20 bucks for those hearing aids? And they sold for $699 in just two weeks. Now, next up was my first ever online auction. It was an estate sale and I spent $700 in total and turned that into well over $4,000. Now, the item I'm about to show you guys was not actually the most profitable item from the sale, but I think it was one of the coolest. Please remember over the course of this video, you're gonna see old footage, old filming, old editing, lots of like cringy moments, but it is what it is and the pics are still fire. So you have been warned. Okay guys, so if you all weren't already just a teensy bit jealous, you are about to be because I only paid $25 for this next lot and I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the heavy hitter first. This is the Sony Sports All Weather Discman. I have opened it. Some of the stuff that I got from this auction was not new in the box. It was just put back in the box. In fact, this other Panasonic disc one that I got, it is also a really good model. It has a little flip up and there's actually none in the solds for the past year. So I need to do a little bit more research, but I'm just gonna say $50 for this one. But this one is missing um, the headphones out of the box. So there was a lesser model that only ran like it ran for less hours and there was some other difference about it. This one last sold for, I believe, close to $400. And so I have this listed for $450. I've already gotten a couple offers on it that I have declined, but I have four watchers on it already and, um, Somebody is definitely gonna pay up for this bad boy. So I paid $25 for both of those Discman. The Panasonic actually sold for $150 even without the headphones. Now the Sony, I think I probably undersold that looking back now, but it did sell for $450. So you really can't beat that for 25 bucks. So moving right along, this, this next one is not really a top sell, but it is an interesting one. I will, um, I will say that. I cringed to my very core watching this video back this morning. I don't know if there is footage anywhere on YouTube of me that is quite em as embarrassing as what's in this video. I'm not going to lie, I deleted most of it because I didn't have the nerve to like repost it um, for you guys all to see now, but... Yeah, I left a little bit of embarrassment in there, so let's just go to the footage. We do not, but this is super cool. Those, you put those on your feet, you uh -huh. put the pool, it's resistance, and then those hand things like this, they offer resistance. I've got some that I bought through Amazon, uh -huh. and... I just thought, I'll just yeah. sell all that stuff for $10. Yeah. That's what I paid for my ones from Amazon. I paid, and I thought, if I'll just sell all that stuff. So the super score of the yard sale, you guys, was this um, Hydrotone Fitness Kit. Oh, 
These are hydrotone dumbbells that you use in the water. You guys can see they have these vents that come out. Go ahead. What is your all's guess that these are worth? Now, there was none in the soles that had these actual boots with them also. Uh, it seems like the boots are a little bit harder to find. So, for just these dumbbells, they're selling for $150, you guys. $150 bucks for these. Like, I mean, they feel so cheap. I did go ahead and list this set with these boots for $200. And Jeez. Exercise. Y'all, they work. <laughs> y'all know y'all want to buy these. Kayla's Junk Trunk, $1.99, baby, plus shipping. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I'm honestly just a little sorry I didn't have the nerve to um, not keep deleting clips out of this for you guys, but that's so embarrassing. I'm just an idiot sometimes and we'll just leave it at that. I did pay $10 for this set and it sold for $200 plus shipping, so that's still a win. Now, on a more serious note, this next one I only paid 75 cents for and I had no idea that it was fine art. Check this out. What's cool? Yeah, I want to think what they're, they're very modern. It's like Hobby Lobby. It's Hobby Lobby? Like, I think, they're, I mean, yeah, I think pretty modern. Like oh, is that, is that, that's the Columbia symbol right there, isn't it? Yeah. Does that sense? That's the fear of mine. Oh, look at these. Uh, what, with the turkeys? 86? Don't be shellfish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna snag these two. Look at these. Look at these with etch, different etched birds on each oh, one. Cool, yeah. yeah. But the real winner of that set, these coasters, were the best find. But check these out. So these are etched, and each one has a different type of wild game. They're all, they have the artist's name and the year 1986 on them. Look at this turkey, and we've got some geese. There's only one that has sold. So these Scrimshaw coasters actually sold for $251 just one day after I picked this set. Now, these are the only item on my list today that has not yet sold. Some things take just the perfect buyer to come along. Um, the reason these are so valuable is because they are Scrimshaw, which is essentially etched artwork made into whalebone or ivory. Now, this is something that is illegal to sell now, but any artwork dated before 1989 is still legal to sell. So, these being marked right on the coasters, 1986 made them a fine art and legal for me to sell on eBay. And I have them currently listed for $225. Now, this next one is one of my favorite pickups of all time. Again, I had no idea just what I had, but I have a very special place in my heart for vintage Christmas. So, check this one out. <laughs> oh my gosh, these are so cute. I know you slip more Christmas stuff out down That's here. That's what we're doing. We're oh my goodness. They're in the back of the car. That was the first thing we cleared out in our house. I love those. So they are all back in the back of the car. Wow. Well. Paul, check out these. What? Aren't those so cool? That makes me feel so good to know somebody really wants them. <laughs> really cool. I know, these are gorgeous. They're so hot. Where's it? Made in Japan. So I only paid $2 for the set of six reindeer that you all just saw. Now, the blue coloration is the most rare color to find. Now, I have sold a total of three out of the six of these reindeer. One I sold on eBay for $100. Two I sold on Whatnot. One for $122 and the other for $155. The other three, I kept one for myself and then I gave two away to some of you guys. So I made about $375 just from the three that I decided to sell, but there's really at least $600 in value in just that $2 pickup. Pretty crazy. Now for this next one, we're going back almost two years and it's like the worst filming ever. There were two back-to-back -back insane scores that you just get a very quick glimpse of, but they were so great that I still decided to share. So check these out. I don't think we have enough room. Uh, okay. Are you paid for 20? Yeah. 
Thank you. Uh, 13, so I owe you seven. Thank you. All right, so I paid $3 for this timer, which I hope to flip into $25, but the real gem was that $10 nativity set, which I will flip for hundreds. Big silver bowl. I had like some big hydrangeas in it. Uh huh. This. Oh, it is really pretty. These are cool. Yeah, those were my growing up. That's what my family. Those used. are freaking awesome. thing that wasn't bad about that clip was the pickups. Now that Fontanini set consisted of 33 characters and that small stable and it sold for $400 plus shipping. And then right across the street that Oneida silverware. So that is one of the most sought after Oneida sets and it is called Act 2 and that set sold for $275 and I only paid $5 for it. So $15 in a matter of like three minutes and $675 in sales in just those two items. So that's why I decided to show you guys that horrendous footage, even though it was horrendous. Now this next one isn't even close to my best sales in terms of percentages, like the amount I paid for it versus how much it sold for, but it is one of the highest dollar amounts that a single item has sold for, and it's a really cool piece of history. So, so my big spender of this auction was this Chuck Yeager's X1 model plane. If you guys are not familiar, Chuck Yeager is the first pilot to fly faster than the speed of sound. It's like mock 1.03 or something which is like 700 some odd miles an hour and so this plane was made by the Danbury Mint and which can be hit or miss not all Danbury Mint stuff is valuable but uh anyways so this was signed by Chuck Yeager himself who actually just passed away last month so for that reason I'm sure that has helped the value of these planes climb in the past little bit the last one that sold was a uh, eBay UK sale for like $760 I believe um, but there's been some auctioned off that have been closer to like 400 but as of right now there are two listed one for a thousand dollars and one I think for like 690 one has the piece, some pieces that are damaged and neither have the box. So for those reasons, I'm going to go pretty high on mine. Probably going to come in like around nine something and we'll just see if I can get it. Um, but anyways, I definitely have a lot of wiggle room with where I came in, but I definitely want to make uh, at least double Moment. I know the exposure got weird on my camera right now, but it's because it's the sun is like shining right on all my windows right now So it looks a little weird, but it's okay. So the Chuck Yeager autographed plane I paid two hundred and fifty dollars for in an online auction and it sold for nine hundred and twenty five dollars to an overseas buyer located in Israel They actually paid like eleven hundred and twenty some odd dollars in total now that was about two years ago so I went and checked out what the exact comparable is selling for now the last one in the box just like mine just sold for fifteen hundred dollars so next up I came across this 1990s chrome BMX comp bike at a yard sale I paid fifty dollars for this and ended up selling for $800 plus shipping. Now moving on to the next one, this might be one of the best thrift store pickups to date. Okay you guys, so I just came across this. It says this is what's in the box. Originally 360 at Bargain Hunt. I'm looking at it right now though, and it sold for $600 used online and $100 for parts if um, this is actually what's in the box. So we're gonna check it out and if so, $20. Even if it doesn't work 100, if it does, 600. Guys, this wood is actually in the box. It has a remote and cords. The condition is insane. So I'm actually hopeful that this might fucking work. That's almost too good to be true. But we'll see, guys. 
So I paid $29.99 for that Denon receiver and I sold it for $550. But this one actually ended up having an issue with one of the audio like connectors in the back and so it got returned. Now even after it got returned I was able to resell it again for $100 for parts. But after you consider the original $30 I paid, the $40 in original shipping I spent and then paying the $40 for the buyer to send it back to me, I barely broke even on this one. But that is just the name of the game. There are risks involved, but honestly, the rewards greatly outweigh the risks. So sometimes you just have to take a chance. And honestly, in my case, most of the time they pay off. Now on to the next one. This one still blows my mind. How much did you have on your radar? Um, I'll sell for five. I take it out of your box back yeah, there. Yeah, don't forget the um, battery things. Okay. Yeah. I still cannot believe that he said $5 on this radar gun. I didn't even know what it was at first, but it tells you the, I almost said temperature. It's not temperature. It tells you the miles per hour that the softball or baseball that you're throwing is, whatever that is called. And um, it's sold. So this is just proof that you don't have to even know what something is in order to sell it. Thankfully, we have the world at our fingertips with a phone and the internet. Anyways five bucks. This sold for $400. Now this was over a year ago, so I could not find the actual comp. So this one that sold for best offer on $6.95 is not mine, but mine sold for 400 bucks. Now, are you guys ready for the best sale of my life? And I think this is actually the most recent one too. So I spent just under $50 on this one and have turned it into over $5,000. Get the back of pickup truck. Yeah, her offer, I thought, was pretty good. She goes, no, I got to have at least 500 out of all that. Her son just sat there and went, oh, my God, Mom, we got to get rid of this crap. Yeah. Well, I ain't really <laughs> And this was the whole box I wanted you to look at. Okay. 19 plus 3, though, is 22. Okay. And then 22 in this quarter one here. No. I'm going to make him come do it. Okay. I was going to ask about that <laughs> other box that she snagged, too. Oh. No. <laughs> well, she doesn't take it. We'll okay. Know. Were we at 22 or 23? I forgot. 22, I think. Okay. We'll go with 22. <laughs> 26. Hey, baby. How much for this whole box? Uh, you have a dollar each on here, so how much for this whole box? Another Cadillac box. Yeah, another Cadillac box. Is she buying the other one? Yeah, I think she is. Okay. She's asking. She's calling. Okay. She said if she didn't buy it, she would. How many? I don't know. That's why I was letting you do it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even count. I just saw lots of... There's probably like 40 in there, so... $25. Say 25 so Boy, we would just make it 21 we get 50 for all that. 50 bucks. Right. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. Do you guys have sales often? Um, it, sometimes, sometimes we do them in the fall uh -huh. if he gets enough stuff. Yeah. Um, but usually once a year, at least always in June. Uh -huh. And then sometimes we'll do it again. Okay. Well, I'll keep fall. it out. <laughs> I'm just going to ditch this right here and walk right to the yard cell next door. That other lady over there is still deciding on that whole other box of Cadillac rims. Whatever the price was, I remember it being good. I just went ahead and shopped the yard sale next door while I was waiting for the other lady to make her decision on the Cadillac parts. 
the show. I don't know. Let me ask her. Okay. Okay, how much did he say for the box? Okay. <laughs> okay they're leaving these. Hub caps to go. This has to be pretty good. Twenty-five. There's like twenty-seven of them. So okay, I will do it. That's fine. And I'm gonna add these three okay. right there onto it. So this one still continues to truly blow my mind. I cannot believe I spent like forty-nine dollars and have over five thousand dollars to show for it. Or I will. Oh, sorry, I kicked you guys. Or I will win. It is all said and done. So unfortunately, Cadillac parts is not, or car parts in general is not something I enjoy listing. So I didn't list these all at once. So last year during the 2022 year, I sold a total of 20 parts for just over $2,300. I got on another kick and listed another big chunk of these Cadillac parts at the very beginning of 2023 and sold an additional nine Cadillac parts for a total of like 820 bucks. So, so far to date, I have sold just over $3,000 in Cadillac parts. Now I have this small bin of 24 Cadillac items left that have most, for the most part, just recently been listed. And that is another $1,924 just in this bin. Like some of these little trunk locks, I've sold a couple of these for $250. The silver ones or chrome, I should say, don't go for as much. But it just goes to show you like, I don't know how crazy this reselling game can actually be and to just always trust your gut. Now I also have this small little bin of items that I still need to list. But when all is said and done, over $5,000 from just that pickup which is seriously insane. I hope you guys enjoyed this different style video and this cool recap of the sales I've done. I tried to do mostly like older sales that most of my new viewers I feel like would not have seen. I know that came with a lot of crappy footage, but again, the sales were fire. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.